So we have not the same line, but they are parallel. We will do this by just uh, doing an example, as opposed to writing out the process. All right, so first let's make sure these are actually parallel. So we need to go check slopes first. I think we had, was it A1 over B1? In the parallel case should be A2 over B2? Or was it the B over, I think it was A over B. Okay, so if they were not parallel, they would not be equal. If they are parallel, they better be equal. So we're just going a1, B1, A2 is 4, B2 is 6, and yes, those are equal, so we got parallel. Now, <coughs> they might be the same line. How would I check if they're the same line? So we'll write our linear system, 2x plus 3y minus 1 equals 0, and the other one, 4x plus 6y plus 2 equals 0. So if they were the same line, what, what relation would these two equations have? They basically need to be the same equation. One minus the other would equal 0? Almost. So one of them would be a scalar multiple of the other one. So you can see it's almost two times, but the constant's off. So the constant doesn't follow that two times pattern. Uh, if you tried to solve a linear system, you would start out, I think elimination would be a really good move to make. So I would add uh, basically negative two of those plus this one right here. And then I would get zero x's plus zero x's plus zero y's minus two, no, plus two plus two. And that should be a strong indication that there's no solution. So parallel, not the same line. If you already checked um, the slope and you see that they're parallel, could you also just check C over B to see if they had the same intercept? B, uh, check what, to check what? C over B to see if they would have the same intercept to make them the same line. Mm -hmm. So we got A1, B1, C1. Uh, you could, I think, B2. There's probably a way to do it, but it, this would not be the same as like C1 over C2. It wouldn't work out like that. Yeah, like C1 over B1 equals C2 over B2. Yes, I think you could set it up like that, yeah. So yeah, if you're careful, I think you could basically swap out and put C's in there. All right, so they're not the same line. So let's let u equal, we'll go with the first one. <coughs> so I chose this first one right here as u. This is almost u over here on the other side. Well, I should say it's almost 2u. Not quite almost u, but it's almost 2u. So let's figure out how close it is to being 2u. <coughs> so I'll underline that guy twice. So let's figure out. So if I chose u to be that, 2u would equal 4x plus 6y minus 2. And how would I turn that minus 2 into a plus 2? Four. So I'll just add 4 to both sides right here. So I'm going to go plus 4, plus 4, plus 4 to both sides. 2u plus 4 equals 4x plus 6y plus 2. So any questions on that algebra there? 
And all we're going to do is go ahead and make these substitutions. So there's going to be another problem when we make substitutions here. Uh, so if we just naively make these substitutions, so we could write u dx plus u, 2u plus 4 dy, but this is not good. We mix the u's and y's and x's together. So we need to be very careful about this. So before we unsubstitute, we'll take our original u equals 2x plus 3y minus 1. And the same thing we did before, we're going to take derivative of this. So we have du equals 2 dx plus 3 dy. So at least our derivative is super easy here. A little worried about our substituting back in. So what I think we need to do is solve for either x or y, and then change into either u's and x's or u's and y's. And I think we can choose which way to go. Uh, so let's solve for, let's take out dx. So we'll solve for x. So we'll subtract everything out of here. u minus 3y plus 1 equals 2x divided by 2. So dx is 1 half du minus 3 halves dy. So what we're going to do now is make our substitution. So our original we have u. So the first part turned into u. dx is now changed to 1 half du minus 3 halves dy. dy plus u plus 4 dy. And we distribute over here. 1 half u du minus 3 halves u dy. Plus u 
plus 4 dy equals 0. And oh, yeah, definitely. So now we'll collect our dy's together. And what's in front? We have 2u plus 4 minus 3 halves u. And finally, we you combine the u's together, minus 3 halves, so that's plus 2 is 1 positive one half. All right, what is the last step we need to do to separate? So get the u out from in front of the dy, that u term. So we'll divide by that. Uh, let's multiply by 2 first. Nobody wants unnecessary fractions. And now we'll divide. And now we have separable. In fact, a relatively easy separable. So solving this one shouldn't be a problem. So let's recap our solution method. So I'm going to just say dot, 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 and leave it at that. So let's comment on how we did this. And I'll do that in the green. All right. I could have chosen either one as u. And whichever one I choose, the other one is going to be a multiple of u plus some constant. So you can choose either one as u, and it doesn't matter. We ended up with the one half anyways, but we can eliminate that by multiplying by two. So if you have some fraction, you can probably just multiply by that denominator and get rid of it. Um, so you pick one of these two to be u. So you choose one coefficient term to equal u. And then of course, we solve for the other one. Solve for the other coefficient term. And then we actually didn't need to take the derivative until we uh, went back and solved. We solved for x, but you could solve for x or y. So I'll write just solve for x uh, or y. So you'll have x equals, these are all linear, so no matter what, you will have x equals, uh, let's go with au plus by plus c. So whatever, those are just going to be numbers right there, a, b, and c. And then take the derivative of this. And we ended up solving, oh no, we didn't have to solve for anything. So we just substituted that dx back out. So <coughs> you could also solve for y, and then you'll replace your dy by whatever you just computed right there. So this will get your dx uh, substitute. Can we uh, take the derivative of all of that, your a? Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, no, that one was right? Yeah, that one was right. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's not your fault. Unless your name is Bill Gates. What? So, wait, so which? Ah, so this should be a U. Okay. There we go.
All right. You can also do the uh, coincidental when the lines are the exact same, parallel and the same. The good news is you'll basically lose that plus constant right there. So you'll be in an even easier position for solving. So you can do the two lines are exactly the same, and it's actually the same steps, just even easier. And we'll do one, we'll do one more of those problems, and we'll go the other way next time instead of uh, swapping out the dx, we'll swap out the dy instead.